reactions as Alex Otis deputy storms parks in Abia to stop collection of transportation levies. Abia State's Deputy Governor, His Excellency Ikechuku Emetu, on Thursday stormed major parks in the state to enforce the law on transportation levies. A few days ago, the Governor of the state, Alex Oti, gave a directive call that all levies being paid by transporters in the state should be put on hold until a directive from the state government is made. The levies include the ones on commercial buses, tricycles and many others in the state. With photos that surfaced online, the directive has now been put into action as the deputy governor was seen to have stepped out to enforce it. Ikechuku Emetu, in some of the pictures, was seen alongside some security operatives as they marched to designated areas. Photos of their visits to the parks have gotten many people talking. Well, now let's see what other people have to hear about this. Mumu Ibo's that the de- that development for Ibo land see the vice self like the Abero way he wants chase. I thought they said there's no Abero in Ibo land. This is the kind of agile leaders we want as Nigerian presidents, not old and tired grandpas. I like what I'm seeing, young vibrant deputy. This is what they call future of the youth. He will be called to order and from there he will join Embezzlement Association of Politics Nigeria Limited. So if transportation levy is stopped without any other means of generating it, you are calling for thugs and armed robbers. Abiro is everywhere, but not a situation where head of Abiro is more powerful than the governor like we have Oluomu. LP, Defu- LP Deputy Governor has turned into a toot. After this, the government will bring out its own levies and our bureaus, and it will be higher than the existence ones, not the same people. They are called our bureaus as well elsewhere. They are in charge in some states, in fact. They have the headquarters well established where they hatch and incubate before growing wings and fly to other areas. This will not last. He has forgotten that that is a major source of living for some people. Whenever the push gets to the wall, there could be a stiff resistance. He is just carried away by fresh power status and personal fantasies. Let's wait and see. So Abiru Day for Ibo land, why are you bombarding Lagos with missiles? We have to be fair in our own sense of judgment. If I put in power, I will conceal entire transport union nationwide. Nothing like Abiru in my government. If you don't have bus or car, stay clear from garage. You are my governor, carry on dear except one have had the privilege to use the motor parks. One can never understand the ungodly activities of the toots. God Almighty bless you and strengthen you to do the work our deputy Abia State is now obedient. They should have been in total control of affairs of the state before looking for motor parks trouble. You are the fool, stupid and illiterate fall guy here. You cannot see this kind of handsome, vibrant and youthful fellow in your God-forsaken state as governor deputy. Don't allow hatred and envy destroy your miserable life. Fool everywhere. Young active deputy governor, I love your actions. Try to bring, bring glory to Abia State and may God bless you. People should learn to limit the attacks on their perceived individual enemies instead of attacking tribes. Well, we have heard these people's opinions. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with family and friends so they know what is going on.